It's that time of year again, folks. It's time for 2022 Parenting Wrap. And buckle in because it has been a long one. To start off with, I parented for 362 days. That's right. It was not 365. It was 362 because I actually traveled for work for a few days and it was quiet. I parented a total of one child, although at times it felt like 700 and that is just a thing. I served a total of 5,076,134 snacks. That's right, my child goes to daycare five days a week, yet somehow this is still the total number of stacks that I came up with. It was a lot. Snack requests included cookies 10% of the time, lollies 41% of the time, berries 20% of the time, and chocolate 29% of the time. The snacks that I actually delivered were crackers 30% of the time, lollies 8% of the time, chocolate 3% of the time, berries 50% of the time. We're a big fan of berries in this house, and like if you can't get your nutrients from vegetables because mm, kids don't love to eat them all the time, might as well get them from fruit. Fruit also gives the same level of nutrients, I think. Go ask your nutritionist, but generally it's good. Cookies were 9% of the time. We still did some sweets. It happens. It's fine. The number of nights that I was on duty as a parent was 362 all night long because that's just what works for me and my family. I've always woken up to my child. She likes me better at the moment when it comes to being woken up in the middle of the night. We, we aren't changing it. It's fine. The nighttime parenting activities that I had was I breastfed her back to sleep about 35% of the time when she woke up in the middle of the night because I was breastfeeding until September, which means that I breastfed her until she was almost three. You're welcome for normalizing that. I slept through the night 35% of the time. Last year's parenting wrapped would have said 0% of the time and the year before that and the year before that. So, you know, we're looking pretty good. I had to sing and pat her bottom 17% of the time because after September, we stopped breastfeeding. We had to do something else and that's what we did. It took a lot longer to put her to sleep, but it's okay because she sleeps through the night a lot of the time now. I got vomited on 4% of the time. It was not, not, not that definitely not fun. And then we had a midnight party 9% of the time. A lot of that was contributing to jet lag because mm, we traveled to the other side of the planet for three weeks. So it happened, it's fine. The number of times I work in the night was 100 times I work none of the time. One, uh, 100 times I work one time, 20 times I work two times, 10 times I work three times, Five times I work four times, and two times I work five times. Those nights were hard. This graph has changed since 2020. This would have said 12 times every night. So, you know, we're looking good. How did my kid fall asleep? Well, I don't really know because I fell asleep before them about 11% of the time. I breastfed her to sleep 50% of the time. I pat her bum and sang to her 25% of the time. She fell asleep in the car 7% of the time. And she fell asleep while telling me she didn't want to go to sleep about 6% of the time. If you'd like to see the stats for tantrums, stay tuned for the next part.